Hey everyone, how's it going? Got another die cast here for you. This one is a very, I don't, I don't even know what you call this weird, um, but it is fairly rare to have all the parts of this. Um, this is a 1968-ish um, Husky, which is a foreign brand like Great Britain. Um, chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. But the car, like I've seen the movie as a child a long time ago, so I can't remember everything it does, but it did fly. Um, and it's weird because it was almost like a James Bond car. And the guy who designed it, his name was Ken Adam, and he actually worked on the James Bond movies of that era. Um, because the book, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, was written by Ian or Ian Fleming, um, the same guy who wrote 007, all the James Bond movies, or books. So um, we have him to thank for this and a lot of the cool James Bond stuff. So um, I'm going to try to be careful with this. Uh, I'm going to take it out and show you everything it does, kind of all the features, because it is very unique. This is probably one of the most, um, by far one of the most unique 164 scale cars I've ever come across. Um, so let's let's go ahead and dig into it. Um, like I said, it's the brand Husky. They made Batmobiles. They made all kinds of stuff in the 60s, 70s. Um, and this was one of them. So I'm trying to get this out without ruining it. So you'll notice there's some things floating around in the package. Uh, that's because they're like add-ons. Uh, originally in the package, I'll put a picture right here. Um, everything was assembled and everything was spread out so you could see it in its full glory in the package. So we'll take a look at it just as a stock car. Um, I, I don't recall what the stock car it's based on is. Um, you can kind of see it has like a boat body in the back. Um, it has like wire wheels from that era, almost like wood style. It almost looks like a Rolls Royce or a Packard or Bentley or something like that. Um, the front of it's chrome. Uh, it doesn't have glass in the window. I don't know if it did originally. Um, as far as I know, this is complete. Um, it has both the figures waving in the front and in the back. The kids, hello, hello. Um, and it looks to be complete to me. I bought this several years ago because I got a good deal on it, but this is like a, a 30 to $50 car with everything on it um, now. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang made in Great Britain. Um, and it, it does roll. It's, it's actually a decent die cast. Uh, it's heavy. Um, so we'll get into the features. You can see right here is like that's the lever that he used in the movie to like control everything. Um, and like I said before, one of the big powers or features of this car was that it could fly. Um, so you'll see the yellow on each side here. Um, and that is actually, you take your fingernail and pull it out, and they are little wings. Um, for flight, which is awesome, like very, very cool feature on this. Um, like imagine if like a Mach 5 or a Batmobile or something did that, like that's a rad feature. And this is old, this is from the, I mean, how old is this? It's from the 70s, 68, try to bring it down there, there you go. Um, I mean, that's just cool that the wings come out um, and then to fold them back in, basically just zoop there you go and they fold in and they have just their house underneath the chassis there um, you can definitely see why having this car complete would be an issue because there's so many little things to break on it like this is plastic this would break off easy the lights I could see breaking off all the little plastic parts on it that that people are usually missing like I've never taken these out but they do come out you can see they're kind of wiggly um, the plastic piece right here could break off the wheels like if you roll this hard you you know these wheels are breaking and they are actually um, I believe oh no they might be it might be one piece so there's not a rubber piece you can leave but there's just a lot of little parts that you could break on this um, so it is a very delicate model so fully let's pull that back out um, so these little fins that come with it these are little add-ons that in the package you can I mean I showed you the picture earlier but basically these snap on um, I'm gonna see if I can do it right uh, it is this face up here so they snap on just like that onto the little plastic um, guides and then once you get it all done this thing looks like a full flying machine here 
trying to do it. Let's see here. Oh, come on, come on. I don't want to break it either because it is, I mean, it's pretty, pretty delicate. There we go. So that one doesn't move. This one kind of moves a little bit up and down like that. Oh, knocked it off. Um, but it does move up and down a little bit with, can't use too much force, but stick that back on. And you can see like, if you did that a hundred times, you would wear that sucker out, you know? So I don't try to get this out too often. So this is kind of a special occasion. Ah, damn it. I probably just, that was like on camera the one time that I did it too much. So, um, you can see there, this is, I mean, look how crazy that is. That is wild looking. That's such an insane, for 164, that's, that's pretty wild. Like, look at that flying through there. That's pretty cool. I mean, so there's what? One, two, three, four. I easily see 10 little pieces that could pop off. So this is, this is cool to have this complete um, if you're a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang fan, or just, I really like Hollywood cars. Like, I have a lot of Hollywood cars, from General Lee's to James Bond, Batmobiles, Ectos, Ghostbusters, um, Back to the Future, everything. So this, I thought this one would be cool to pick up, um, just just based on the func functionality of it alone. So, um, there it is, a 1968-69 Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Husky car, 164 scale with all the flying parts, complete, boom. Now you can say you've seen one complete in flying mode. So, cool, that wasn't a super long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is a pretty unique car, so let me know what you think about it in the comments, or if you have one, or if you had one as a kid, let me know, it's pretty cool. Or if you have any movie car suggestions of what I should feature, I might, I might have it, so let me know. Cool, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.